What's going on, boxing fans? Jolyn Williams here with the Distance. Got a video for you guys. This one's going to be a prediction for this upcoming WBA regular heavyweight championship bout between Alexander Povetkin and Ruslan Shigaev. Master puts together pretty much two contenders for the heavyweight championship. Former mandatory for the IBF, Alexander Povetkin, and the former WBA champion, Ruslan Shigaev. So, anyway, this is actually a quite enticing bout to um, check out on paper. Um, Alexander Povetkin is finally getting his title shot because Teddy Atlas thinks that he's finally ready. So, to tell the tape, um, I believe um, Alexander Povetkin is like a is only an inch taller than than um, Shigaev, but I think he has a longer reach because Ruslan Shigaev has only like a 74 inch reach, which um, I think could be a liability for him um, in this fight or against any fighter that knows how to use the reach um, as an advantage over him. But I think what he does to his advantage best is he does try his best to take take the jab away from his opponents. So starting off with Ruslan Shigaev, I will say this, against Travis Walker a few months ago, he looked horrible. Um, even though it was, you know, even though it was a um, okay fight, um, and he won the fight, um, he just looked, he just looked like his, it looked like his timing was off, he looked sluggish, he looked slow, um, couldn't put his punch together quite well against Travis Walker, who, who's an opponent that, you know, um, that, that's basically a, a journeyman in this heavyweight climate. Um, but he looked, he just looked sluggish and slow in that bout. But prior to that, he did look a little bit, he did look quick, and he did look quick against, um, in the fight prior to that against um, Cali Meehan. Um, he did look, he did look a little more, a little more sharp and more crisp in that bout. But since the beating he took from Klitschko, he hasn't been too active um, for a fire that should warrant the title shot. Um, but without with that being said, um, Ruzan Shigaev is a fighter that comes forward, um, throws a good quick jab, um, good quick jab to set up his left hand, has good timing with his left hand, throws a, throws a very good left hook um, when an opponent is within like a mid-range. Um, and like I say, he does, he does a good job of just coming forward and using his jab to press forward on his opponents. In this specific bout, he's going to have to find a way to come up come underneath the jab of Alexander Povetkin and look for the left hook. He's going to have to time him quite well. Um, this, is, this is about, that's all about timing for Shigaev. Um, this isn't just, you know, a single shot, you know, a single punch fight for him. This is like multiple combinations. And that jab is going to have to set up, you know, his, um, his left hand. See, with Shigaev, Shigaev can use the left hand right off the jab, or he can use the left hand you know, off the counter. Um, he does good at using the left hand for both. Um, the only two punches he really throws with the left hand is the is pretty much the overhand left and the left hook and on occasion throw the straight left hand. So what he wants to do also is is um, he does want to keep pretty much keep um, keep um, Pavekin's foot outside of his, his lead foot outside of his foot because it's gonna give him advantage it's gonna give him an advantage to be able to get inside and, and um, get the shots that he wants inside against Alexander Povetkin. Um, due to the fact that Povetkin, I think with Povetkin, I, don't, I think Povetkin fighting inside is quite, I think his inside game is quite um, average, I want to say. And I think he has a better, op a better chance at fighting this fight in the inside, keeping it all you know, inside. But also look for, look to time him. And just time him repeatedly in this fight. And if he times him repeatedly, then that takes that could possibly take away his jab, and have him lead in with have him lead in with the with the um, hook. Um, and he does lead in with the hook quite a bit when he sees an opening, but the straight gets there before the hook. And he and um, Shigaev does have quick quick hands. Um, so pretty much, I think that would be that would be a key to victory for Ruz on Shigaev. Um, Alexander Povetkin, I think the one inch height difference will make a lot, of, make a huge difference in this bout form. Um, I think in this bout he wants to fight tall. If you look at the the legs of Shigaev and you look at the legs of Povetkin, Povetkin kind of has, 
Vivekan has kind of just, you know, your normal foundational base of that, at which he stands. And compared to Shigayev, Shigayev, you know, has, you know, has his legs and feet wide apart, which is going to make it harder for Pavekin to, you know, fight backwards. Now, Pavekin has shown in the past that he has trouble fighting backwards. He, you know, he tends to just come forward and, you know, plod forward and, when he moves back, he doesn't throw anything. He just you know, puts his earmuffs on, and you know that's it from from um, Shigayev. That's he you know, he just puts his earmuffs up and opponents just throw at him. So in this bout, Povetkin has to focus on making Shigayev take steps back, and pretty much we've seen the way to make um, Shigayev take steps back against Valiov and against Vladimir Klitschko. What they did was they stood outside and they jabbed with him. They jab with him. They um, Vladimir used more lateral movement than the value of value. Of, you know, he just kept coming forward and um, jabbing, even though he clearly lost that bout. You know, he just came forward and jabbed. Um, Povetkin is going to have to come forward and jab, keep him at the end of that jab. And whether he's moving forward, he wants to make sure he's driving him back as he's moving forward. Also, if he's using lateral movement, he wants to use you know, the jab from specific angles if he's using lateral movement to make Povetkin set his feet because Povetkin pretty much only throws when he's setting his feet. And when he and if he doesn't throw when he's setting his feet, then he throws completely out of range and he's completely off. So pretty much it's all about movement. Um, also, a punch to look for inside is the uppercut. If P Povet, excuse me, um, Shigayev has a horrible, has horrible defense against the uppercut. Um, that's a punch that Travis Walker was able to get him with repeatedly um, midway through the fight. Um, I'm trying to think. Another opponent got him with an uppercut. Um, I know, what's his name, Matt Skelton got him with an uppercut. Um, Valiev was looking for the uppercut. So, pretty much the uppercut is pretty much she got his kryptonite. Um, the uppercut is going to be the punch that could possibly set up the hook up top for Alexander Povetkin. You know, throw the uppercut, follow it up with the left hook um, or right hook. Um, that's pretty much all you can do is, is focus on driving um, Shigayev back, making him fight, make him, making him take the step backwards, and, try, and pretty much making him fight his fight. So who I think is going to win this fight? I want to go with Alexander Povetkin in this fight. And I like Alexander Povetkin by pretty much... I'm going to go with the decision in this fight. Because I think that this is a fight where Povetkin more than likely will not take risk. And because, you know, he's... Because he's going against an opponent that can time... That can possibly time him. And... And also, he, he knows how to... He knows how to get within the reach of you know, specific fighters, or taller fighters, he knows how to get within that reach. But Povetkin, I think, is going to fight safe. I think he's going to jab. I think he's going to stay outside. But also, if we see the same Shigayev as we saw against Travis Walker, I think there's a very good chance that Alexander Povetkin comes in and knocks him out. And that's because, like I said, his timing was off. He was throwing punches out of range. He was slow. And... And with these kind of opponents, when your timing is off and you're slow and you're plodding forward and and also, you know, he did have trouble using the ring against them and wasn't jabbing from specific angles or even punching when he saw the openings come you know, coming. I just think that Povetkin will have that advantage and youth will always prevail over that type of fighter, a fighter that looked just as faded as he did. So I'm trying my best not to judge Shigayev off of that last performance. And maybe that the fact that this is for a WBA championship could be a motivating factor for him coming into this bout. But either way, even if it's a motivating factor, I see Alexander Povetkin win this fight by a decision. Um, I think you prevails in this fight. So anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.